Coach Josh can make you. So we're back. Alright. And <laughs> hey, what is $20 is $20, right? <laughs> so in modern Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, old school Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or MMA, most people would pass on the floor because you could punch them no problem. Modern Brazilian, modern sports Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, a lot of people will stand up and they'll pass that way. And you still have to be worried about foot locks and things, but this is generally the way people pass today. But you can do a combination, you can do a combination, which is usually what I prefer. So we're gonna go back to the first drill we were doing. I'm controlling the inside space, and Josh is making my life miserable by having his feet touch me. Yep, I don't want that. Okay, so from this position right here, I am going to use my elbows to control the inside. Then I'm going to step. As soon as, as soon as I step, this knee is going to drive forward just like before. And I'm going to keep this leg posted. This hand comes through under hooks, and now I have a choice. I can do a leg scoop and make his leg miserable, or I can go for the underhook. It really doesn't matter because the door is open with this leg. As soon as I'm ready to, as soon as I'm ready to pass, this leg <coughs> comes over here and staples this leg to the floor. Now I can move this foot off, stand back, and I've got a good passive position. If Coach Josh wants to be a hard head and keep his leg trapped, that's beautiful because then I have a nice reverse knee on belly. So anytime somebody traps, traps you like that, go for knee on belly. It's a game of chicken that he's going to lose. All right, let's do this again. Uh, Bullfighter, uh, uh, control, control my sleeves. Exactly, just like this. I, can, I get my elbows to the inside. I'm going to walk to make his legs parallel. Step in, drop my knee, cross face, scoop, this foot. Windshield wiper is over. One leg comes out, other leg comes out. And then I'm going to go into the end of the shot. All right, last one. I control the inside space. Yep, I don't like this. If one leg is completely extended, my knee comes in and takes out the slack. All right, all right, takes out the tension. Now, when I want to pass, I'm going to walk to the side. This is the side I'm going to this side. My knee touches down, cross face, underhook his arm or his leg. So I'm going to go for his leg. This foot comes over, holds the door open. And then fall right out. Any questions so far? Okay, so good guy. Get the bullfighter grip, get, get the bullfighter grip, step to the side, and do the pass from before. Bad guy, get a good, uh, get a good spider guard, but keep your fingers relaxed and don't, don't put too much pressure unless your opponent asks for it. Uh, good guy, don't forget, step to the side, it's really important. Let's get to it, last round. One, two, three.